Hey guys, welcome back to Flat Creek Outdoors. I'm Phil and today I'm gonna give you some updates on my vehicles. I've made some purchases and some sales and I've moved things around and I've got a new vehicle here to show you today. But maybe you saw a few weeks ago, I purchased a 2005 F250 diesel. That truck was pretty awesome. I got a great deal on it. It only had 82,000 miles, which is extremely low for a 2005. It had a, all the bulletproofing work was done. It was in just great overall shape and I was pretty excited about it at the time but after driving it for a little bit I ended up regretting that purchase I'll tell you more about why here in a second and I sold that vehicle I got a good deal on it so I didn't lose any money um, sold that vehicle kept driving my other Nissan Frontier for a little while I've had that 2016 Nissan Frontier since 2017 I bought it with te just 10,000 miles on it and it had over 94,000 miles on it when I got rid of it and it's been great for a small basic truck it has done everything I've asked of it we've had it on the beach we've towed campers I've hauled a lot of firewood with that thing and it has served me extremely well and has never cost me a huge amount of money I have had no major repairs on that thing I've just kept up with the maintenance and it has continued to deliver I thought the 2005 Ford was going to be a replacement of the Nissan and that was the plan and knowing that the Ford was not very efficient, it was diesel and fuel is more expensive and all of that, I was kind of planning on getting rid of the Frontier, using the F-250 as my work truck and then buying something else smaller, econ more economical for around town trips. Well, I didn't end up doing that partially because I just didn't like driving the Ford. It drove like a u-haul or like a moving truck or something and yes i know it's a heavy duty truck and it's not supposed to be a luxurious vehicle or anything but i just hated the way that it drove and it was noisy and my wife hated how loud it was and you know all of those things combined just i didn't enjoy driving it it was too loud it wasn't efficient and uh for those reasons i decided to get rid of it so here is what i decided to get instead that my friends is a 2018 Nissan Titan XD. That's their heavier duty full-size truck. And not as heavy duty as say an F-250, but it is more heavy duty than say an F-150 or even the uh, basic Nissan Titan. The Titan XD, uh, I don't know all the specifics, but it's just a bigger truck. It has a six and a half foot bed instead of a five and a half foot. I think it has a stronger frame. I know it can tow more. And we're looking at a gas version here. They make these in diesels and there's a lot of these on the market. A lot of diesel Titan XDs on the market right now. And they're going for really good prices. But I wanted a gas model partially because uh, th this is going to be a replacement truck for me. It's going to be a daily driver for me. I got rid of the Frontier for this and um, having a gas truck is just going to be more economical given the current fuel situation and the fact that uh, gasoline is over a dollar less per gallon than diesel right now. So I figured I'd go ahead and show you around this truck, show you a couple of the features. I know there aren't like a huge number of these out there. They don't produce these in the hundreds of thousands or millions like they do Ford trucks or Chevy trucks. So um, you don't see these every day, which is, uh, you know, I kind of like that. I like having something that stands out on the road and there aren't, you know, thousands of them out there like there are F-150s. Since I did just mention F-150s, I shopped a bunch of F-150s out there. I looked at some that were as old as 2016 and as new as 2020 and you can get some f-150s that are specced pretty similarly to this titan xd for example you can get f-150 with a longer bed that's a six and a half foot bed on this truck you can get f-150s with a six and a half foot bed and a longer wheelbase than the standard ones um, this has like a 10 or 11 thousand pound tow rating you can get that tow rating on an f-150 with the max tow package and this has cloth seats this is the sv model i'll show you more about this truck here in a second but basically you can get a very simple similarly specced F-150 that's just as capable as this and has all the same features. What I saw out on the marketplace though, a similarly specced F-150 was at least four to $6,000 more than I paid for this truck. So as far as value goes, that's why I went in the direction of the Nissan because, you know, I'm cheap. 
Well, this particular truck I mentioned is a 2018. It has just over 50,000 miles. So extremely low mileage for a five-year-old truck. And uh, as far as I can tell, it has not been worked hard. There is no damage. Uh, there's a, you know, a couple tiny little parking lot dings. Uh, as far as cosmetic uh, issues on the body of the truck. The bed of the truck is spotless. The hitch is spotless. There's no scratching at all on the little safety chain loops. So this truck has not worked hard. So I feel really good that I'm getting a truck that was not abused, that was not worked hard, and that still has lots of life left. So inside this Titan XD, just give you a kind of a quick little walkthrough. We have black cloth seats. Those are heated. We have automatic headlights and um, navigation and automatic climate control with dual zones. So a lot of creature comforts in this, particularly compared to the Nissan Frontier that I had previously. The rear seat is very roomy. I have this, the driver's seat there in well, the position that was comfortable for me driving, and there's plenty of room in here, even for three adults, I think, could, could sit in here comfortably. And, you know, the most I'll have in here on a regular basis are two kids and maybe a dog every once in a while, but plenty of room for them, lots more room than that Nissan Frontier. And that was one of the things that I was after if I was looking for a replacement of the Frontier was something that was gonna be more family friendly. We've got the six and a half foot bed. It came with this tonneau cover. This is actually the same brand tonneau cover that I had on the Frontier. It's really helpful for keeping the weather off. If we take a family trip or something, uh, you know, keeps the, the bed re relatively watertight. We have very little water intrusion um, in that cover that we had on the other truck. So I expect the same here on this one. The dealer I bought this from is called Sullivan Auto Trading. They're in Fredericksburg. They have another storefront in Virginia Beach, Virginia. And from what I could tell on their website, they price their vehicles pretty competitively. So if you go looking on their site, uh, for example, you know, a lot of their trucks were um, probably a good four to six thousand dollars less than similarly equipped trucks at franchise dealers. And um, I got talking to one of the owners there, was actually the finance director, so we, you know, had time together in his his office as we were going over the paperwork and we got talking about the business and I've bought a lot of cars over the years you know not, not that that's a good thing but I you know fortunately or unfortunately have a good amount of experience in buying cars and these guys were really straight shooters were really open and transparent about how they price things about how they do business about uh, how they structure deals in the finance office and all that kind of stuff so I, I'm not gonna lie I'm pretty impressed overall with the whole experience in dealing with them um, seemed like a good group of people some straight shooters and I wouldn't hesitate to buy a vehicle from them again or recommend that you take a look at their site and go buy a vehicle and I have not gotten anything from them I mentioned something to them about having a YouTube channel and then I'll give them a mention in the video and they go oh well, we'll give you a you know a, a coupon for a, um, a, a free detail to you know come back and get a $250 detail the truth is they're like way too far I'll probably never cash that in so anyway I just want to let you know they didn't give me anything in exchange for um, for recommending them. I just genuinely think compared to other dealers that I've dealt with, uh, this is a good, good group of folks and you can probably, you know, trust buying something from them. All right, you guys, let me know what you think about the truck and if you think it's gonna be a good fit for me, I think it will be. I wanted something with a bigger bed. I wanted something with more space. And of course, I want something that's gonna be reliable. And if this is as reliable as my Frontier was, I will be more than satisfied with it. Um, this is now my daily driver. So, you know, I have to put up with it and I think it's gonna do okay. I think it, ha it, it checks all the boxes. It's got the bigger bed. It's got more room inside. I think it's got everything I need and of course it's got four-wheel drive and you know the other things that we need to you know get around the farm here actually it's kind of mushy out here today I had to put it in four-wheel drive to get up the hill to get back in the back corner of the field right now where I am so uh, that all works as expected and uh, anyway I'll give you guys an update after I put a couple thousand miles on this once I have some more experience with it maybe I can talk about you know what I really like about it what I don't like about it but so far all I did was drive it from the dealer to my house and from my house to here and those are the only miles that I've put on it. I don't really know anything about the truck other than, you know, what I've already shared with you. So uh, I will do a more thorough update later on that. Well, thanks for watching today, guys. I appreciate you spending some time with me. I'll catch you on the next video. Bye-bye.